Hello, welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. So today we're going to be looking at the Honda Trail Sport. So let's go and do that. All right, so here we go. So the first thing before we um, get rid of these ads, hate those ads. Um, the 2023 Honda Pilot is big, rugged, powerful SUV with some tricks up up its sleeves. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at the short video here that they have for us. Uh, let me see. Go click all those recommendation off. Full screen, foe. Full screen. Okay, you know what? We'll just go to the website. That's what we'll do. We'll go there. We didn't want to give us full screen. So let me go ahead and get the sound and action. This is how Honda does the only new 2023 with special off road comes to get you even farther with all terrain path. tires, off road wheels, and oh, 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 they're going too fast for me. Ah, uh, you see that right there? That right there, my good friends, our actual tire replacement. Usually, they give you the stupid fix a flat with new tires because of cost. You know to save themselves cost and then they sell the um they'll sell like the um <clears throat> the, you know like an alternative tire or whatever like an additional like if you buy a type r they won't sell you it doesn't come with the um with another you know a donut it just comes with a fix a flat and then if you want to buy the whole donut setup it'll probably run you a few hundred bucks but the fact that this is included, that's a nice touch. I hope this is included on all their other SUVs, like their crossovers as well. But I'm not too sure. I haven't looked into them. But all I see from the get-go is the fact that this that's included. You got a skid plate, off-road tuned suspensions. This guy's driving like a maniac, man. Increased ground clearance, expanded all-wheel drive system capability. Now the interior, it does not look that bad. I thought they were just gonna, you know, copy and paste the interior like they did for all their other vehicles. Um, they went a completely different route. Can I get this to look a little bit better? Oh, I guess all we get is 720. Trail mode, trail, watch. Now here we go, so these are the different um, modes that are available to you. You have normal, econ, economy, snow, trail, sand, and tow. There you go. You got the tow. You want a tow? You can tow. The all Not much though. I think it's less than 5,000 pounds or something like that. Trail Sport, the ultimate family SUV. 2023 Pilot Trail Sport. I hope that was absolutely amazing and you enjoyed it. So there you have it. 2023 trail sport is ready for your wallets to be pillaged <laughs> all right so when it comes to pricing the previous uh trail sport started at forty four thousand. so knowing honda's pricing it might go up a little bit um they don't like to go crazy but i do know the fact for a fact that they will be getting rid of the um a certain trims for sure, for sure, that they're going to be getting rid of them. But anyway, <clears throat> it's still utilizing the same 3.5 liter V6 engine, that makes, which makes 380, 285 horsepower, 262 foot-pounds of torque. Although that just for five more horses, more than 2022's Pilot 3.5 liter V6, the new engine's all aluminum block is unique with low profile heads, a high tumble port, and a narrow 35 degree valve angle help improve combustion. Overall, new engine has fewer parts and 10 speed automatic transmission helps make the package more refined. Thanks to Honda's second generation I V M. VTM4 torque vectoring all-wheel drive system, which is available on Trails, Trail Sport and Elite models. Up to 70% of the engine's torque can be directed towards the rear wheels. 100% can be directed from one side of the wheel vehicle to the other, which is which is nice. Um, when it comes to all-wheel drive system, Honda, to me, still doesn't come to par when it, when it comes to all-wheel drive, comparing it to Subaru. Subaru's all-wheel drive system that is always running 
always good. Um, I've seen tests where they test out the Subarus um, against other cars, and it just blows them out of the water. Like, the way, yeah, that system is pretty much top-notch, in my opinion. I mean, you may have different of opinion, which is okay, which is fine. But I'm just keeping it real. Um, when it comes to all-wheel drive, I don't think anybody touches Subaru because they've been building those things for decades. <laughs> decades. Really long time. Um, when it comes to the interior, you got these nice, lovely leather seats with trail sport written on top. Now, my thing is, why is it like, um, like that looks kind of orange? They should have gone with the red. I love the red stitchings. Um, Interior-wise, um, they broke the trend. <laughs> got to give them that. Um, they got rid of those, <sighs> that same design that they've been putting on every single vehicle. CRV still has it. Um, Civics, <laughs> not a fan of them. I like it. I love it. But I'm just saying, like, they needed to change something. Um, the fact that they changed it with the Pilot, that is huge, huge, huge. Um, I thought that they were just going to go with it. You know what I mean? So this is the Trail Sport. Because that's all the ones they are showing us right now. And then later on, they will show us the other one. So here's a little bit more of the spec sheet. <clears throat> you got the rear, even though somebody has already made the rear look really nice. Um, overall, I like the new design. Um, I think I've said that. The boost blue on the, on the Pilot kind of makes it look weird, I guess, to me. But um, that color is always popping, especially if you see it on the Civics or the, um, the Civic Catchbacks as well as the Type R. That color just, ah, just pops. Color pops, man. It pops. I love it. But they're just trying to put it on every vehicle that they can. Um, I think they're keeping that same design right here in the mid, in the when it comes to shifting. Um, you have your drive, park, etc. The electronic park and brake, which I'm not a fan of. And then you got your storage, two USBs in the front. And then you got your steering wheel control, heated steering wheel. That's also included on the Trail Sport, I'm assuming, because it's got that button right there. And, you know, I still like the fact that Honda is still putting physical buttons in their vehicles and certain stuff are within the infotainment. I like that. I still prefer the old knobby knob nobody nob so that's not going anywhere because when they try to take that we went absolutely insane and they put that shit back on the next iterations of their vehicle which is which shows you we have the power to make change within these car companies we have it we can do it we just have to speak loudly and vote with our wallets the new 2023 Honda Pilot will be produced in Alabama. Pricing will be announced closer to market. Like the Trail Sport retails for 44000 and some change. I believe it's right here. 44000 About 45000 if you're including your destination. Um, and then, obviously, they're going to be charging for additional color. So, right now, you have the Lunar Crystal Black. And then, they're also adding the Boost Blue as part of their their new color schemes as well, too. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to the interior, comparing to the last one, it's a huge, huge upgrade. This looks very plain and ugly. Um, I don't, <laughs> it just looks whack. Let's go to summary. You're looking at $46,105,000. So the Trail Sport is going to be creeping to about $50,000. That's what I'm guessing here. It's going to creep up to about fifty, roughly fifty. That's just me saying, who knows if I'm going to be, if I'm, we'll see, only time will tell, because this is a 2023, so they'll start shipping them out, I want to say, close towards the end of the year, or even maybe Q1, January, February, around that time, and we still haven't seen just the regular um, Honda Pilot, we haven't seen just the regular, they've been showing us the um, Trail Sport, all this information about the Trail Sport, but we need to see the other ones. Um, we need to see more. We need more. And I wonder if they're going to do a hybrid, which I highly doubt that they do a hybrid pilot. But anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I don't know what you're waiting for. And I'll see you in the next one.